What's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. Just got done watching Timothy Day Like It 2 uh, Dating Tips First Date. Alright. Um, Tim put out a lot of great info and tips on his video. So I highly encourage all you YouTubers out there to go watch his video first and then watch mine. Alright. Um, but my tips is definitely for guys who got their own money, got their own cash, uh, they on their own, they got their own house. And they ain't trifling, they ain't broke, they ain't freaking whatever. And they live, they ain't living in their mama's house, they ain't bumming money from their friends and all that good shit. Alright, if you're on your first date, I highly suggest you get some money, some real money. Not motherfucking $20, $40. I'm talking about like, you know, you got some real cash behind your, your pocket. Alright, dudes, this is for you mofos with class or who ain't got no class. I just want to put this uh, phrase out. You can buy for school, but you can't buy class. Alright. So, anywho, dudes, all right, I want you to let you know that when you're on a date, you need to act like a man, like you are, all right? You need to have your chest up like this, you know what I'm saying? You're walking with some real confidence because if women see no confidence in you, they don't want to be with you, period. They do it with confidence. Look like you can provide, look like you can fight off people who's ready to rob your ass, all that good shit. You need. You need to put it down that you ain't nobody to be fuck with, and that's and that's it. All right. Um, so let's look into that. All right. Um, hygiene is very important. Clothes is very important. Physical appearance is little important, but you need to be clean and and you have to have a clean appearance. If you got that bush ass mustache and beard, you need to shave all that shit because a girl wants to see who you who fool you are. And then once you get into later on dating, then you can roll your shit back up again, okay? I'm just letting you know. Alright, when you first see a girl, make sure you smile. Smile her like, yeah, what's up, girl? Yeah, you looking cute, yeah. Because if you don't smile when you first see her, she's gonna think that you're angry at her. Or you're you got you brought some issues that she ain't trying to deal with because everybody got their own issues and you're not reassured that she might actually have a nice night with you. Always make sure you smile, like she's, like you found a million dollars and she's that million dollars. All right, that's letting you know. All right, so another good thing is physical uh, interactions and communicating with her. When you're communicating with a girl, you need to be able to look at her deep into her soul and into her eyes because that way, not only but you're doing the force inter, uh, uh, you know, force attraction thing because you're drawing them in when you're talking. It's also respectful, man. You need to be respectful when people talk to you. And if you look in the way and be like, oh, yeah, I'm shy, all that shit, man, there ain't nobody trying to listen to what you're, you're saying because nobody, you, you ain't respecting the person who's talking to you, all right? Physical interaction, all right? There's a few things um, that you can do uh, if you, if you want to start off in the beginning, like picking her up from the house into the car and into the car and into the uh, restaurant. What you want to do is when you first see her and you smile, of course, you're like, hey, so girl, how you doing? Um, let me walk you to the car and then take her at your hand out and be a real gentleman like you is you're gonna take her hand and gently and then you're gonna walk her to the door or to your car and then you're gonna open it and then you're gonna see her in and same thing when you get out the car and when you get to the restaurant you're gonna take her hand and pull her out the car and then be a real gentleman gentleman stick your arm out like this and then have her have her arm wrapped around your arm because every woman likes to be escorted by a real man Alright, now, you escort her, you take her into the restaurant, and there's a few things to interact with the physical witness. Alright, you know, you get to talking, you know, you're feeling her, you know, she's staring at you, you're staring at her, and you want to bring this out. Um, you can use the, uh, the palm reading trick, reading your fortune through your palm. You'll be like, hey girl, let me read your palm. And she'll be like, oh yeah, uh, you can read palms. Like, hell yeah, I can. You know, you bring it out, and then you be like, oh, yeah, you know, you start rubbing your hand, and be like, oh, yeah, and then you start describing yourself. Looks like you're, and, and your dreams and your goals, and you be like, yeah, it looks like you're going to get married, uh, yeah, for a very long time, very healthy relationships, you know, looks like uh, going to have two, three, sixteen children with him, uh, looks like you recently met him, he's about 5'11", Asian, 150 pounds, yeah, yeah. Alright, you know, and then she and she's going to start giggling 
and then you'll start giggling because you know you just describe yourself in a very funny way and then she's like oh and she just realized ha 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 it was you you know she you know that you're talking about and then um what you want to do is uh if you're going anywhere else is um timothy already got the uh whole um being in a in the uh in the movie theater that one's a really good trick you know being in the theater snack and then you guys hold hands all that good shit um, another one, if you're walking, like, let's say, I like to walk around, I like, especially on dates, I love to walk around, I love to see the city, and I like to pick a romantic area, especially in downtown, just to walk around. Definitely, um, what you want to do is, you want to walk a tad bit faster, if you're walking side by side, you notice that you ain't holding hands, you want to walk a little bit faster than her, and then when you turn your back around and be like, hey, what the hell, it's like, well, don't repeat these words, but you want to say, hey, hurry up, you're kind of slow over here, leaving me behind. And then she'll be like, oh, there's these heels, you know, it's making me real slow. And then you'll be like, oh, making me walk slow or something. And be like, oh, don't worry about it, I'll walk with you. And then what you want to do is like, here, take my hand, and we walk together. And then you hold her, you know, you're going to grab her hand, you're going to hold it, and then you're going to walk like the man you is, you know, shoulder up. High and chest sticking out like this, yeah, and you're walking with her, and then you're cool with it. You know, you want to have some swagger with it, you know what I'm saying? And then that's a great way to nail the physical interactions. And you don't, you know, um, if you want to land a first kiss, now that's on your ability to be creative because I have multiple creative ways, and my not sharing it just yet, but. That's just a few good tips on your first day, man. I hope you guys have a, you know, great luck on, on your first day. And if you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them on the section below. This is your boy, Jason Young. I will see you guys later.